Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. I want to ask you about what you mentioned, a very important point about, about leaving the masks and the protective equipment for the public. Now, wherever you see uh, people, random citizens, when I say random, I mean people who are not health workers or not at the front line of the COVID-19 battle are wearing masks if they're even stepping out or sometimes even in their homes. Can you clarify once and for all, based on what we know thus far, because even on this is conflicting report, do you and I, if we're not at the front line of battle, be needing to wear masks? Do we be needing to wear, wear masks and gloves? I'm in Switzerland now, which has quite a high rate of infection, but I'm not wearing a mask and neither is anybody else on the street. So who needs to wear a mask? Um, those who have a cough and cold, it could be uh, COVID, it could be just a flu, it could be uh, a cold, but wearing a mask prevents the droplets from flying out and landing, you know, all over the place or, or flying onto somebody else's face. So certainly a person who has a COVID and cough who's interacting with other people, if you wear a mask, you are protecting those around you. That's first. Second is those who are caring for people with a confirmed COVID uh, infection. So whether they're in the house or whether they are healthcare workers, because you're, you're going to come into contact uh, closely and since you're caring for that person, you're going to be close and you might want to protect yourself. And then, of course, are the healthcare workers who are seeing a lot of people who are sitting in a busy outpatient clinic who are, or who are actually working in a ward with uh, COVID patients. They definitely need, and like I said, you know, there are proper masks which they need to wear. So the ordinary surgical mask, what it does is it prevents the, the um, when you cough, it prevents the droplets from going out. And so it's effective for, for stopping that from happening. So if you're not infected and you wear a surgical mask, it does nothing. So again, it's a false sense of security, you know, that, that you're protected. And moreover, we've seen now worldwide shortages of masks, gloves, uh, goggles, gowns, etc. So we we must have some responsibility and, and uh, protect those for those who are at highest risk and also for those yeah. where you know wearing it makes sense and it benefits the community